Sex is politics, you know. I mean, it always has been used for that. Largely, it's used as a means of keeping people in line. You've got the gay rights movement, which basically achieves everything it could possibly ever want. Yet it somehow becomes more hysterical, not less, and starts focusing on ever more minor and insignificant things like transgender pronouns rather than AIDS. Um, you know, and now all of the gay charities are run by lesbians and are preoccupied with um, transgender pronouns. I've been a man, and I've been a man who emulated a woman. I've never been a woman. I never had that service once a month. I've never been pregnant. You know, I can never say how a woman feels. I can only say how a man who acts like a woman or dresses like a woman feels. I never wanted to have a sex change. That's just taking it a little too far, you know, because if you decide later on in life to change your mind, you can't. Once it's gone, it's gone. A lot of the kids that I know, they got the sex change because they felt, oh, I've been treated so bad as a drag queen. If I get a pussy, excuse the expression, I'll be treated fabulous. But women get treated bad. You know, they get beat, they get robbed, they get dogged. So having the vagina, that doesn't mean that you're going to have a fabulous life. It might, in fact, be worse. You know, so I've never recommended it, and I myself would have never, ever got it. And I'm so thankful that I was that smart. If somebody is born a man and transitions to become a woman um, and lives and feels as a woman, does not mean uh, that everybody else then has to agree that that person has now become a woman. And there are then tensions, and this is, this is one such tension, I would suggest, is in sporting events, would, would people regard somebody born as a man who's become a woman as a woman? I don't think that's, that's they may, obvious. They may be born as a man, but in their, it's their brain and their gender issue. Throughout their whole life, they have had trouble with their mm. self, struggled with their self, to come to terms with their self, because they know they were born in the wrong body. It, and, and the argument of that yeah. is then you're in the wrong body, wrong body so you were born with a man's body one can have respect for people and their lifestyle choices without having to pretend that for instance chromosomes don't matter or that they're entirely irrelevant or they're amorphous and so on